Mosaic Collage with Ms. Bowley. Here's the materials that we'll be using. So you'll need some white paper and a pencil to plan out your design. You'll need colored paper, around two to three colors. You'll need scissors, a glue stick, some white glue and a brush, those are optional, and a paper plate or a piece of cardboard that you've cut into a shape of some sort. So why are we doing this? Well, we're linking our learning in social studies to art. We're also continuing our learning around geometric shapes and patterns, and we're creating our own geometric pattern. We're also experimenting with a new art form, collage, which means to glue paper. And we're gaining an appreciation for the mosaic makers and seeing kind of the intricacies and difficulties that they may have faced when they were making their mosaics. Some terms that you might need to know, which we've gone over before, are mosaic, pattern, and geometric shape. Some other words we'll need to know are radial, which means something like a design that grows outwards from the center, and symmetrical, which means that it's the same on both sides if we were to fold it in half. Our designs that we'll create will be both radial and symmetrical designs. All right, let's get started. All right, here I have my materials and I'm gonna use a paper plate for making my mosaic. It has this like, like edge onto it, so it's a little bit more difficult. You could also use a piece of cardboard. You could use a rectangle or a circle piece or a triangle piece, whichever kind of works with your design. All right, and this is what we're aiming to create by the end. So a mosaic with three, two to three colors that uses geometric shapes and patterns. All right, so first I'm going to use my sheet of white paper and a pencil, and I'm just gonna sketch out some ideas for a design. So I'm drawing a circular design because my, my paper plate is a circle, and I'm just doing some sort of U shapes and then uh, diagonal lines through it. This one I'm doing just some concentric circles and some diagonal lines coming out. Um, if you'll remember back to some of the designs that we saw on the Islamic mosaics and the intricacies that they have, we are not going to be able to recreate those with our paper mosaics. So we're just, we're just starting out with mosaic making. So we want to keep our designs super simple. So I've even just drawn one here with just diagonal lines, some concentric circles. So what I'm thinking about is symmetry and radiating out from the center. So I can start with a, something in the center and grow outwards from there. So now I've decided I kind of like this one over on the, on, the, on the corner. So what I'm doing is I'm deciding what colors I might make mine. So I'm labeling it like green, yellow, blue, and planning out what my colors might be. All right, so as I mentioned, keep your design simple. Here are some ideas. You can pause here if you'd like some uh, inspiration for your design. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw in pencil on my paper plate. If you're using a cardboard, you'll just draw in pencil on your cardboard. And I'm just kind of copying my design onto my plate so that I know where to stick my pieces of paper. So I'm starting by just drawing a light pencil uh, cross and then I will continue to map out the rest. Because my design has circles in it, I'm using a circular object to trace around, um, but you can just draw the circles um, yourself if you like. So my design has two concentric circles in the middle and then just some little U-shape um, type designs on, along the, the four, the top, the bottom, and the two sides. So keep it simple. Don't try to go too intricate. So there we go. I have my pencil lines. And now I'm going to start cutting my paper. So I've stacked up my three sheets of paper. I'm going to aim for about one centimeter by one centimeter squares. I actually made mine quite a bit bigger 
and I found that smaller works better. So a good method that you can do is fold your sheets in half, stack, stack three, up to three sheets. You can do a few less if you like so that they're all stacked. So I'm gonna cut through all of them at once. And then I'll cut one centimeter wide strips. Okay, so there's one and then I'm just gonna keep going. I may not end up needing the whole entire sheet cut up. So just cut um, a few, see how you do from there. All right, now I'm gonna cut in the opposite direction each of the strips so that I get little squares. And remember, I'm aiming for about one centimeter by one centimeter. Mine are bigger and I ended up having to cut them. All right, so tips for while you're working. So as I said, keep your design simple. We're going for simple geometric shapes. Um, try out different methods for gluing. So you can use the glue stick and put the glue on each individual piece of paper, or you can glue a larger area and then place the pieces of paper on top of the glue. So try out both and see which one works better for you. I found that it's good to hold the glue with my left hand while I'm picking up the pieces of paper with my right hand. And then start with smaller squares, one centimeter by one centimeter, and cut them as needed. So sometimes I found that I needed a really special shape um, of paper and I could just cut that specifically with my scissors if I needed. And a little bit of overlapping with the squares is totally fine. So those are my tips that I found um, ahead of time. Keep those in mind as you're working. All right, so I'm gonna to show you how I started out. So I started with my glue stick and I was doing the center part where it was going to be a yellow circle. So I placed my pieces of paper on top of my design first and then I cut them to fit in that circular area that I want them to fit in. So I just went and I cut, cut off sort of the corners to make them circular. After I had them all placed, then that's when I went in with the glue stick. So have a look and see how I do that. Uh, and that's what worked best for me for my center part because it was circular. And then once I have them cut in the shape that I wanted, then I went and glued them down. So I'm picking them up with my finger and then I'm rubbing them on the glue stick and placing them down. Picking up, rubbing them and placing them down. And as I go, my finger, my finger has become sticky from the glue stick. So I'm able to just tap my finger on the paper to pick it up. I don't have to like, to try to pick it up. It just sticks to my finger. So tap rub, place down, okay? Now let's look at another way where we don't have to have to cut the pieces to shape as much. All right, so now I'm doing the green circle around that yellow center. So I'm just placing my pieces so that I'm trying to get as small of a space between them as I can. It's kind of hard when I'm doing such a small circle but I can overlap if I want. So I'm placing them first before I glue. And then once I'm happy with the placement, then I will pick up my glue stick and glue. All right, so I'm starting out picking up the paper, rubbing it on the glue stick and sticking it down, but there is another method that you can try. So instead of sticking each piece individually, you can pick up your glue stick and do a whole area and then you can just place, place, place your pieces down. But you need to make sure you only do a small area of glue because the glue will dry over time. Okay, so try both methods of gluing and see which one you like best. All right, I, I'm going to switch over to time lapse so you can see me go through this at a really fast pace. Take your time. And if you're getting frustrated, just step away and come back and do some work later.
That was a lot of work, but it's totally worth it. Wow, look at that. So if you'll notice, I do have, I have some areas where I've overlapped the pieces and that's totally fine. You're absolutely able to overlap. Um, but I also have some spaces where the paper is kind of coming off. So the solution for that, and this is an optional step, if you don't have white glue, you don't need to do this. But I'm gonna use some Elmer's white glue and I'm just going to pour and, and a brush that I'm going to dip in water. Just a little bit of water. I'm going to pour the Elmer's glue by squeezing the glue bottle and just kind of putting some, some lines of glue all around. And then I'm going to get my brush slightly wet, just a little bit, by dipping it into water. And then I'm just going to brush the glue a watered down glue over top of my mosaic and that way hopefully it will stick down some of those uh, pieces that are sticking out and it'll stop them from falling off all right and I'm almost done there we go there's my finished mosaic well I hope you had fun making your mosaic and remember practice makes progress thanks for watching